Hi, I'm Steve Detz. I'm a painter and sculptor from Skaniales, and the Schwein Firth Art Center has generously offered me this show, which is a combination of paintings and sculptures um, over the past few years. And the paintings in front of you are actually probably the most sculpturally of the paintings, and then there's the most painterly of the sculptures. Um, always have had a battle, kind of. of um, I've never been an overly traditional anything, so I'm, I, I don't like the confines of uh, traditional painting in a certain way, and I don't like the combines of tr traditional sculpture. These allow me to kind of delve into both simultaneously, um, but in, in a single flat surface. One of the things about these is how do they come about? And that where does a, the chicken and the egg come and where does the shape, when does the shape emerge from the process? Because it is not a singular, um, it's not a decision to do something this shape and then execute it. It's more that the process begins and I use components in a sculptural manner and then actually paint on them, but I'm allowed the flexibility of adjusting a painting in a way that isn't traditionally done and creating something that's two-dimensionally sculptural and not three-dimensionally sculptural. Um, these present interesting challenges about the idea of uh, the loose abandon style of painting with a more restrictive idea about boundaries and contours. And how far out can I go and how far in do I need to keep it? And, there is a certain aspect of them to bring in ideas of control in that, or how do we monitor it? We measure it with graphs, we measure it with markers, we measure it with, with circles and squares. Pretty much everything in the universe can be a circle or a square down to a point. So I use these and contain it that way. The frame is especially important in these being metal. It's like we're not going to exceed this metal boundary within doing a painting. Um, so it kind of gives it a physical containment, even though it's small, that's very object-like versus painterly-like. Uh, the one up top is interesting to me because I am not very good at being subtle. And this is one of the more subtle paintings I've made and I kind of uh, relate it to cooking. That I, I you know, it's if, if a recipe says garlic, I'll put in seven times as much garlic in it. So subtlety has never been, and I actually pulled something off that I think is pretty subtle. Um, the, this one is actually one of my favorite paintings I've ever done. And uh, it was the first in the series of the shaped ones. And I found it, um, it's incredibly pleasing to me personally. Uh, this is one that's more a little bit on the subtlety range. In my work in general, I find it that each piece could be explored with another 10 pieces, or I can explore a wider range of pieces and maybe go back and hone down or maybe not. I'm not sure which one's more important to get a wider breadth of experience and explore all the ideas that I have or to narrow down and become a master of one, which, um, you know, Mirandi paints bottles, and then he paints bottles, and then he paints bottles, and he paints them really well. And he paints still lives that work very well that way. I've always wondered about the idea of between masterpiece and the heroic idea of painting the same thing again and again. 
Van Gogh's sunflowers, they found, are all done from a single trace drawing. Mm, do you explore something like this with a single form? Or do, you, do I explore it with as many different forms as I can? So feel very open-ended about them, but they are about boundaries, constraints, freedom because there's boundaries and constraints, or constraints because there's too many boundaries. <laughs>